up YouTube <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Claire I post college videos travel vlogs stuff like that here on my YouTube channel and today is an exciting day because I am posting my first ever college apartment tour. Some of you, if you're returning viewers, you may know me because I put out a dorm tour at the University of Southern California. That was my freshman year, aka two years ago. I don't go there anymore. I go to the University of South Florida here in Tampa. As you can see, I have my beautiful palm tree right outside my window. I'm not living in on-campus housing here, but I am living in off-campus housing that a lot of students live in. It's just like a couple minutes from campus. So I'm at IQ Luxury Apartments on Bruce B. Downs in Tampa. It is currently January 3rd and I'm preparing for semester two here at USF. I started here last August and I graduate in May 2023. So I only have three semesters left, which is really sad. But since I've been here for so long, I was like, man, I need to get this apartment tour out. So just as a heads up overview, I am a pretty minimalistic person. I don't like too much clutter, so I really don't have that much going on in my room. But with that being said, I feel like I'm super organized. I'm super clean, which is very important to me. I cannot live in clutter. So yeah, um, without further ado, I think we'll just get right into it. So yeah. I am in room C, which this is room D, and then there's room A, and then B over there. I'm really lucky because I got room C, and it has this big, beautiful window. The A and D rooms, I believe, do not have big windows. They just have like half of it, and it's kind of like tucked away, so you don't get as good of natural light. But if you're in unit B or C, at least for my floor plan, which is the Newton floor plan, you will get this big, beautiful window. This is what you see when you first walk in. I prop my door open with this little doorstop because they just swing shut, but... We will start just with my desk here because I think it's kind of like the ugliest, most basic part of my room. I still think I did pretty well keeping it relatively organized though. So here I just basically have everything that I use on a daily basis. I've got like all my jewelry, just clock, my laptop. I've got my vlogs on repeat right now because I'm trying to get to 4,000 watch hours so I can monetize my channel. So if you ever are just looking for some YouTube videos to play, I've got a bunch of playlists on my channel. So yeah, I just got my jewelry, a couple cork boards I got from Target. Oh, I will link everything down below as well. So like any of these items that I can find online, I will link them in the description and then you can just go check them out from there. Makeup light, I just keep, there's a decent amount of storage in here, just electronic stuff, receipts. And then like all of my makeup is down here. I've got like a mirror makeup all in here. But I'd say there's a decent amount of storage. That's from Five Below. This is from Target, I believe. Cute little lamp. So there's this corner. I did also get this chair cover thing, I believe from like TJ Maxx. And of course, if you have watched my USC Day in the Life vlog, which is my top video right now, you will have seen the day that I purchased my beautiful water bottle that now has sand all over it because I live in Florida. All right, so moving over here, I have my grass wall. It's a little empty. It's funny because my mom is always making fun of me and is saying like, do you want a mower to mow your grass wall? I know it looks a little weird, but I think it's kind of cute. I was going to take it down and replace it with like a tapestry or something, but I got a few compliments on it. I'm like, you know what? It's, it's fine. I'll just leave it. So got my big grass wall. It also was really expensive. Like for like eight of these panels, I think it was like 60 something bucks, but they do hold up really well. I think they look pretty good. I'll link those in my description as well. Here is my bed. I have this nightstand that I got from Ikea along with some frames from Ikea. My wallflower. I have lawn the laundry day scent in there right now. It literally smells like heaven. Got a candle going with some DG letters. I am in Delta Gamma here at USF and my big got those for me at initiation. Very sweet. Thank you, Meadow. And then bedspread just a basic white bedspread i'm pretty sure it's one of those that you're supposed to put a, like a duvet cover over if that's how you say it because you can like see through it you can see all like the feathers because it's a feather it's like a down comforter but 
it's fine. I just leave it. I just wanted a white one anyways. I'll probably get a cover at some point, but I also stuck a command strip back here so I could have a outlet right by my bed. There's just a couple storage things in here. So I have like random things, but it's a nice little added bit of storage. And then over here, another one of those cork boards from Target. This is from Amazon. I actually got it for Christmas. I think it's super cute. A frame with me and my big candle from Bath and Body Works. And then I don't even know where I got this salt lamp, but I think it's so cute. It's been with me since like 2017. It does shed a lot though. I don't, is that normal? It's been doing that since I got it. I don't really know. All of my beautiful pillows. I accidentally ripped the tassel off of this one, but I kind of like how it looks more without the tassel. Got this one on clearance at Home Goods. These two are from Target. This one's from Target. This one and this one are from Hobby Lobby. Target and Target. And then my beautiful blanket that Meadow got me also whenever I was initiated. My Delta Gamma blanket. And again with my big beautiful view. It's not the most glamorous view, but... I get decent light in the mornings, which is nice. I like the light that comes in to help me wake up. If you end up living here and you don't like natural light, you might want to get some sort of like blackout curtains or something, but I like the light, so. Okay, and then coming this way, here's what my room looks like. I just have like a organizer hanging thing from five below with my purses, my mirror. I love this mirror. I got it from Walmart for like $60, literally in love my beautiful camera, and then this is my bathroom and this is my bedroom. It really depends on your room because two of my roommates or one of them have their closet in their bathroom, whereas the others, we have like completely separate doors. So we will go into my closet now. I just got this bag from Shein. I think it's really cute. If you wanna check out my Shein haul, then you will see that in there. Target and, ooh holes all right so here's my closet this is my first time ever having a walk-in closet which is so nice i love it i have definitely utilized this storage to its full potential when you live at iq you will get basically all the furniture you need so it comes with this desk this bed frame with the bed it also has drawers i guess i didn't show you guys and then it'll come with a dresser too i whenever i first got here i rearranged all this stuff if you watch my move-in vlog, you'll see like my bed was on this wall and then my desk was right here, but it was super crammed. And then the dresser was over here, but I wanted to just move my dresser in here because I knew I didn't have that many clothes. I wouldn't need this for clothes. So I just put this in here, moved this all around. It actually made my room look so much bigger. So I'm very happy I did that. I just keep closing it, of course. Keep things pretty organized. Then just more storage. I bought a 12 pack of Celsius. More random stuff in here, like command hooks. I just got these bins to hide some things, make it look a little bit more even. I just have another organizer. It's kind of ugly, but it fit up there pretty nicely. I'm definitely using the vertical space pretty well. Um, just got important stuff in there, random stuff. I have my suitcases that fit nicely up there, and then my bumble box, of course. This is what I have left of like m all of my bumble merch because I did work for them this semester and I'm hoping to next semester, we will see. Another suitcase, some more storage. I keep a lot of camera stuff in there. Swimsuits are in there. Then here are all of my clothes. They're organized by color, which is so satisfying to me. They're a little bit off, I'd say, but it's okay. I also have a lot of like grays and stuff. And then over here, like dresses, more dressy things, coats and stuff that I have not had to use yet in Florida. I also have one of these organizers, which I was so surprised. Let me see, I'm gonna just do the this, okay. I was so surprised to see how well all of this fit, like perfectly with the dresser and this random organizer that I have. Super satisfying, but I just keep like umbrella, belt, accessories and stuff in here, scrunchies, masks, hats, glasses. And then here's my laundry. I try and sort it by like, Small items, so like underwear and socks, darks and lights. And then in there, just an ottoman. Again, I had that at USC too. Has my shoes in there. Keep my book bag in here. Shoe rack, I've had this for forever, but if I can find it online, I will absolutely link it down below. Oh, this was from Target. That's from Bed Bath & Beyond. Don't know where this is from. These are Target, Target Kohl's. Just have a garbage can in here and then all of my shoes. And then back here, I have some more hooks. Just a bunch of like bumble bags, like just like shopping bags that I have. And then I keep my robe in here too that I use every day. So 
there was my closet and here is what I was most excited about because I've never ever had a bathroom that I didn't have to share with anybody else and it is so nice. I'm actually moving into the sorority house, the Delta Gamma house next year because I'm gonna be a senior and it's my last year and I'm a little bit nervous about it because I'm going to communal bathrooms, sharing a room with another girl. It's gonna be interesting. So I'm taking advantage of this bathroom while I have it. Here it is. So pink shower curtain from Walmart. I wanted a white one that didn't really have it. So I just settled on pink. That's from Target. Got another garbage can here. That's from Target. This is from Kohl's. Got it on clearance. Cute. Oh, I love this clock. Oh, I can't remember where I got it though. I think I got it from like TJ Maxx. And yeah, like I said, I'm pretty minimalistic. I don't like to have a lot of clutter or anything. All of my towels from Target. I love this bathroom because there's really a lot of storage. So down here, it's kind of a mess, but I just keep cleaning supplies, like an overnight bag, hair stuff, extra toilet paper and paper towels. And then down here, I have a whole shelf that I'm actually not using, but this is just a bag of like hodgepodge stuff. I have nail stuff back there. Then in here, just my everyday use drawer. And then this, I think I love the most. I have so much storage in here and I get to hide it all, which is so nice. Cause like I said, I do not like clutter. Then here is what the shower looks like. So pretty basic. I got this organizer thing from Target. Got my Billy razor and I mean a pretty basic shower, I'd say. And up there, got this plant. It's from Ikea. And then the Woodwick candle, I think I got from Kohl's. And then the other candle is from you know it, Bath and Body Works. So here's what it looks like when you just walk out of my bathroom. This light strip, oh, by the way, I got this from Amazon. I actually love it. You can like dim the lights. I'll just do a little overview of my room. I love the ceilings too, they are pretty tall. Moving along, this is what the hallway looks like right outside of my room. Like I said, this is room D, and then right next to my room and then my roommate's room, we have our beautiful washer and dryer, which is so nice to have. It's a pretty big space too, so we have a printer in here with all of our laundry stuff and then some laundry baskets. Pretty decent, basic washer-dryer combo. Panning around from our washer-dryer, we have our entryway. Put a little chalkboard here. It is not November, it is January, but at least it makes the space look a little bit nicer with that little dent, that beautiful dent from our door handle. Speaking of our door handle, so if you look, everybody has these like key fob things, except for us. Like all of these doors have it, but our door does not. Everybody else also gets a peephole and like a nicer door, but they told us they were gonna fix it, change our door like within a month of being here and they just never did, so. We also have this whole rug from Target. And then our kitchen. So basic standard size fridge, decent shelf space. Honestly, I don't even know if we use this spot. No, it's empty. So we have plenty of storage, I'd say. Anna brought this little oven slash air fryer thing. It's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of coffee oven. Pretty standard, nice little microwave. Some more storage for snacks and everything. In here, there's like no opportunity for storage. Go this way, we've got a little Polaroid wall. We started it and probably haven't done anything with it since like September. We got these little glasses from Five Below and then just had like people put them on. Then we have our island, which is super nice. We've got a dishwasher, which is great, sink. We don't have a table obviously, but we do have this little bar, which is perfect. And then here's our hodgepodge living room. We didn't do too much to decorate it. We just have randomly accumulated stuff over time and just put it here. So the apartment does come with like this blue chair, 
then this and like all of these bar stools came with the apartment and this here as well and this coffee table the lamp natalie's mom bought for us i believe and then of course this did not come with our apartment but we think it's pretty pretty funny um <laughs> and then it's nice because it comes with this big beautiful tv but one of the big cons is wi-fi i cannot do anything on this wi-fi yeah even after they fixed it so this is again just hodgepodge stuff we didn't do too much to make it super cute i think this is just like christmas storage a little vacuum that anna brought and this is my roommate's razor scooter but the cool thing is we have a balcony. They actually didn't let us out on our balcony for the first couple months we were here, which was kind of sad. But we just bought these chairs from Walmart and this table, but we got some beautiful dead plants, palm tree. I think this is like a hospital. And yeah, but there's some nice space out here. It definitely could be utilized better, but. Coming in from outside, here's what it looks like. We've got a decent amount of space here for sure. And then over here, we just have the other rooms. And then here is a storage closet, kind of. It's got this here, but we have random storage down here. That's my beach stuff that I need to clean out. But we've got like our table in there. So that is it for my apartment tour. I did just want to give you guys a quick little list of pros and cons for living here at IQ. So my biggest con, obviously, like I mentioned out there, is... The Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi is actually terrible here. It's been terrible since I've been here. And the thing that really stinks is for some reason in this specific spot, even though we're in Tampa, I don't get good cell service sometimes either. Like it'll just randomly go out. So sometimes I'll be like on TikTok and I can't even be on TikTok because the Wi-Fi isn't working and neither is my data. So that's a little bit of a bummer. It's gotten a little bit better. They did fix it and it kind of helped, but it's still an issue. I still can't connect correctly thankfully i don't i'm not the kind of person that likes to do my work in my room but if you are just keep that in mind hopefully they'll have it fixed by next year and i've heard that in other parts of the building it's a little bit better than in my room my other big con and i think it's part of the reason why i don't spend too much time in our common space is just that there's such a big lack of natural light as you could see the door to our balcony was the only thing that was bringing in any natural light so that's kind of a bummer especially for such a large space i really would have liked more natural light another con that i would say is that our location on Bruce B. Downs can be a little bit hectic, especially at like busier times, like when people are getting out of class and everything. If you're coming from Fowler, which is one of the other main roads by USF, and you're wanting to turn into IQ, you have to pass IQ and then do a U-turn, which can be a pain in the butt sometimes. And then just getting out of IQ sometimes can be a pain. There's a lot of traffic, especially when there's construction. Hopefully there won't be construction for too long, but there's been construction on Bruce B. Downs right outside of my apartment for a while now. And it's been driving me crazy because people do not know how to drive in Florida. I almost got ran off the road today. I honked at them and they honked at me back like I did something wrong. I was in my lane. They cut into my lane. I had to like, anyways. My last con, which I don't really care. I think it's fine. But if you're looking for a like college specific apartment, IQ is not it. There are a lot of people that live here that already in real jobs or aren't in school. So just keep that in mind. It's not specifically student housing. So your neighbor could be, you know, a 30 year old lady with a kid or something. Probably not with a kid, unless it's a single. I don't know if there are even singles here. With that, I have a couple of pros. Like I mentioned earlier, I absolutely love this big window. I love the natural light in my room. I think it's so nice. If you get unit B or C in your Newton floor plan, you should expect a large window like this one as well. I actually, in my application to live here, I don't know if it had anything to do with me getting the big window, but I requested the rooms with the big window because I love the natural light. So if you put in an application, you really want that natural light, just put in the little notes section, hey, I really want either unit B or C. And my other pro, I guess is just kind of a combination of things, but the amenities here really are nice. The pool, especially in the hotter months, is always popping. There's always something, somebody down there, something to do. Super beautiful pool. With that, there is a little barbecue grill section outside, which is super nice. And then a tanning bed that you can use whenever you want, as long as the office is open downstairs, which they have pretty extended hours. And then 
there's also like a free latte machine downstairs. I'm not a huge fan of hot coffee, but I'll still get something from there every once in a while. It's pretty nice. There's a pretty nice common area too. It's got like a pool table, some study rooms, really modern and everything because it was built in 2017. So overall, I would really say that I love IQ other than the Wi-Fi. That's just my biggest issue, but I love living here. If I didn't sign up to live in my sorority house next year, then I would definitely be staying here. I love this room and I really think it's an awesome, awesome, awesome college apartment to have. I think this completely concludes my first ever college apartment tour. Stay tuned for next year and I will give you a little tour of my room at the sorority house, the Delta Gamma house. Like I mentioned, I will be linking everything in the description down below. Everything that I can at least. Some of these things, like I said, are old. I got them back in 2019 whenever I was moving into USC and it is now 2022. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to find everything, but I will do my best. As always, let me know if you guys have any questions, video suggestions. I'm always so happy to hear them. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.